It's now Saturday, the 27th of March, 2021. We had rain up until Wednesday. So now we had two days of rest. That's the 25th and the 26th. On the 25th, it sort of rained a little bit as well. And yesterday, I had a couple of spots of rain, but nothing major. It wasn't like settling, it was just a little drizzle. But today now, today this all day, it was windy. And then now, at 6 o'clock, it's now raining for the past 20 minutes. So these succulents are all grown outside. It's just to show you that these babies can take water more than you think. We tend to think that succulents can well they can survive without water for a long time but a lot of people get this impression that succulents will die if they get watered too much this is my echeveria capri this echeveria capri has got some okay so that is mealybug activity there So there's aphids and mealybug. So that white spot there in the center, that's mealybug. So anyway, I've got my bottle sprayer. Just plain good old water. So this is one way of getting rid of mealybug, or well, at least my way. Because as much as possible, I'm already see, spraying those dark spots. There you go. So you can see all that horrible water pooling there. Capri, Echeveria Capri, is quite thin and they love water. So there are succulents or Echeverias. Hang on. Let's go blast them all up. Oh, that was a big mealybug. Look at that. See? Look at that. There's a big, big, oh, look at that mealybug. Look at that. That's that white, fluffy, cottony things. They're all encased in that. So, if you're not afraid to... Get rid of the farina on your succulents. This is one way of getting uh, organically removing <laughs> mealybug. Look, there's more, see? Look at that, okay? Look at this. So a really strong, this is like half a meter away and I'm blasting my beautiful Capri, look. Look at the distance, look at that, okay? So it's worth buying a good powerful spray bottle there you go now those mealybug you say is going to drop somewhere they don't like getting wet and a lot of them get killed by the blast of see look at the top there see they're brought on top again so just keep spraying them i could actually do it better if i having a camera on one hand but that's one way of dealing with mealybug. So normally I would turn the pot around. And also there's another one here. This is my Blade Runner, a crested one. So this Blade Runner came from, this is the mother Blade Runner here. And the mother Blade Runner right now, look, there's some sign of mealybug activity there, white fluff in there. So this one again, I just blast them all off like so and hang on and just like magic it's gone so uh, you can get rid of it you can squash it if you find it in the bottom <laughs> somewhere but I don't bother so all I do is just do that and also that's also these are cuttings look see normally I would remove the dry leaves uh, because mealybug can hide there as well but this one okay so it's all dry and everything so all i do with that one i'll just go start with the soil get it wet that would encourage the roots to go reach down there and that's it so no fuss no nothing so if he just these ones are all cuttings as well that one is probably taking root that one is taking root as well look another crested one so the, the beauty of mealybug, if you want to get crested plants or another one, see, uh, this is uh, what you get 
if you have if I love well I love crested succulents and this is one way of getting crested plants to let the mealybug do the work for you so that one there okay you stay there so now let's go deal with the bigger crested one here so this one so this plant was not a crested one so it's just ordinary one and this one look the mother plant this is look so beautiful you're so beautiful okay so it is like little blades in it yes yeah, so, but that one is already curled up but now these ones are all babies and then that leaf there that's knocked off that will grow so if you harvest your leaves <laughs> like this <laughs> from the stem just throw it in there that's the best way of I'm just putting it up okay best way of growing succulents from leaves okay now this one now I'm gonna blast it because it's got black spots see the black spots there okay so that's got mealybug activity in there oops okay the back look at that see that's mealybug so that white flap there so just blast them all off okay so that's it you get the idea so i'm just gonna continue see look the mealybug gets brought up in the surface look at that see so i'm just gonna blast them up blast it and i always do this at the end of the day when the sun's not out because this area where this one is growing it still gets mealybug I mean, it still gets sun, <laughs> not mealybug. So I've got mealybug on the brain now. So, kill, die, mealybug, die. There you go. So that's it. I let it dry. And tomorrow, I'm going to inspect again. Because it's really hard to get through there. See, look, really tightly packed. So I'll inspect it. And see if there's more. Oh, look mealybug hiding there that I can bring up to the surface and blast off so this is the best organic way of getting rid of mealybug and I'm getting wet hang on I'll put you back up here